Uh, I'm one of the co-founders and CEO of Tinker. My name is Krishna. And what is Tinker? Um, Tinker is a maker platform where kids learn to code and make things. And uh, they learn to code from not knowing anything all the way up to making things like online games, mobile games, art, music. And we take them first onboarding. Children don't want to learn, students don't want to learn coding. That's not top of their mind. So what we do is we give them series of hundreds of mini games in which they have to program a character to understand computationally what is required to write an algorithm or a problem, solve a problem. Once we get them there, there are two paths they can take. They can take out online courses enrolled by their parents and then we teach them in you know, a very in-depth way of learning to make. They we start them with the visual programming language and then it translates itself into JavaScript and uh, you know takes them to the next level. In schools we provide it's a freemium model where teachers can sign up, we give them a free online tools to set up classrooms so they can assign lessons and they see what students are doing we provide them a free curriculum to some extent and all the tools they can make their own lessons. But if they want great specific computing curriculum, we provide that for a price, about $2,000 a year for school. And we also provide what we call STEM courses. What that means is you're learning to code, but then how do you use code? Like for example, you're learning, let's say, about solar system. Can you simulate solar system? You're learning about magnetism, electromagnetism. Can you make you know, a simulation of like, or a game about electromagnetism, or if you're learning about atoms, what can you do with it? Or are you learning math, the Pythagoras theorem? Can you generate Pythagoras triplets? So it's kind of more project-based learning. So we are um, um, we're in we're K to eight, and about more than 50,000 schools use us in U.S., Canada, in some parts of the world. Uh, last year, we uh, there is this thing, and you probably know called Hour of Code. And we provide, uh, our code had about 100 million uh, kids around the globe use it. Out of 100 million, more than 30 million use Tinker. So, so to what age groups do you uh, target your, your materials? We start first grade to eighth grade. Uh, we don't distinguish by age. We say, you know, competency level, you go ahead, you keep going at it. And I see here in your booth, you have a number of uh, tablets and you have uh, drones, for example, and stuff. So on what platform do you run Tinker and why the drones and stuff? Sure. So we run on three platforms, uh, HTML5 on the web, that means in a browser, you don't need any downloads. Then we also run on iOS natively, on a tablet apps, and Android. The tablet apps don't provide lesson support, but they support, they're supplemental where they can, whatever they're learning online, they can make lots of things and play on their parents' phones. But it's still a full package without the content on the uh, tablet apps. The reason you see these drones is we want kids to become makers. So one of the making is controlling hardware. Can I program a drone? Can I program a lighting system? Can I program an Arduino robot? And it's, is it possible through Tinker to do those kinds of yes. things? We provide interfaces, command like, like libraries and they use the programming libraries to connect and control those. So what kind of control things can I connect with Tinker? Today you can connect with Arbordix, which is Oli kind of robot. These uh, robots, you can connect to uh, paradrones, you can connect to quadcopters. Um, and there'll be more coming up from Lego-like systems that we're working on in the maker level. We're also working on a system where kids can output mobile apps into the phones. And so why would you want to connect the maker culture with the computer science part of things? Because computer science by itself is meaningless. I mean, it has to make meaning. So some kids want to you know, play with the hardware and make things. You know, some kids might want to make games. Some kids want to like make mod Minecraft. So it has to make meaning. So coding by itself, without making meaning, doesn't make any sense. And, and what was your meaning behind sort of engaging in the whole of this area? What got you ticking for this? I think the reason we started this company as technologists, uh, we've built a few companies before, uh, been reasonably successful. Uh, for example, last company we built was a phone operating system that makes feature phones into smartphones that AT&T acquired. But 
We started this company to help our own kids, to help make sense of technology, to become makers, not constantly consume. And it took us about an 18 to 24 months to understand what experiences we need to give them so the onboarding becomes fun for them versus, yeah, just learn to code and I'll give you, an, you know, and so that's what we innovated. That's what really fun about Tinker. When kids look at Tinker, it's fun. They understand coding. They know what to make, the what can they make. So I think our uh, motivation is coming at it from a parental perspective. Thank you so much for that conversation. We appreciate it. Thanks for your time.